decisions, decisions, decisions. But we'll have to go sit in a coffee shop. Not that kind of coffee shop, all right? Not that kind of coffee shop, relax. Now, we're in another place, we're in a brand new place. Today, we are in Amsterdam. Come to Amsterdam for just over a day because tomorrow we're flying out to Australia. So I'm gonna bring you guys around a couple of hours here in Amsterdam, show you guys around, show you guys the place I'm staying, do a whole tour and look at these absolutely amazing, amazing views. Amsterdam's a very, very cool city, look at this. And with Amsterdam, you know, once you stay out of the, you know, the touristy spots, I mean, you can go visit them, but once you come out of there, it's actually a very beautiful city. Right on the water, scenery is insane. The apartments look absolutely incredible. Look at these views, look at this thing. Last time I was here, oh man, I don't know, seven years ago, you go up this building and there's like a swing on the rooftop, which is pretty cool. But look at this, I don't even know where I am right now. I'm just walking around. I mean, you know, we're in some apartments i think i don't know where i am but this is crazy very very worth the visit if you guys ever get the chance we've got news coming up in about an hour so i'm just getting some steps in before the news comes out and we'll see if we can get some trades today's tuesday yesterday was monday had no trades yesterday but let's see if we can get some today i don't want to take too many too close to me traveling back um because we've had a great 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 trip which i'll share with you guys profit for this trip so far show you guys all the accounts all that good stuff and we've got a payout coming tomorrow as well, which I'm looking forward to. So let's go check into the Airbnb and go show you guys around. People just cycling straight onto the boat. I don't know where it goes, but I don't know where it goes, but maybe we'll have to get on at some point. This is the building I'm staying in. Look at this, it's absolutely insane. That's where I'm staying. I'm not in one of the top ones. I'm in one of the bottom ones with like a upstairs, but them top ones would have some absolutely incredible views. All right, we're checking in. Look at this place, this is beautiful. Look at this, let me flip you guys around. So we've got this nice trading station here. And downstairs we have this very nice lounge, kitchen, TV. And look at these beautiful views. You guys probably can't see it properly, but look at this. Right out onto the water. And there's people actually swimming over there. So I may have to go for a swim, but I want to trade a little bit in New York first. That's me, hello. Up the stairs. Oh wow, look at this. Beautiful. That in the morning will be absolutely stunning. So we just had the news come out for gold. Haven't taken any trades. I did just have a buy stop, but I've canceled it because price didn't continue pushing up. So now I'm gonna open the laptop um, and have a quick look at gold, but I do wanna go for a swim. What's in here? Bathroom. Very nice. Let's jump on the charts, have a quick look at gold. If it's boring and the news didn't do too much, I'm gonna go for a swim. All right guys, I'm in these buys on this five minute flip here to continue pushing up into these highs. Currently up about, what did we just spike up there? How many pips was that? That was about, uh, so we're about 13, but my target into the highs are around uh, about 20 to 25. So I really wanna see this five minute drive and keep pushing. It was a fantastic bottom wick. Anyone who's selling here on gold stops gonna be above these highs. So I want us to sweep these highs and that's gonna be my trade. Current run about $260 here, you guys can see. Live account. Here's the trade right here. So we'll see if we continue pushing. Stops are gonna go in below this current five low. If we come down to create a new low, I don't wanna be in it. I wanna see this five minute push and drive. Have a good push here. 30 minute came down, swept all of these lows. Now I wanna see this drive. There you go. Now we're getting that push puppy. Look at that, currently about 600, 500. Ooh, perfect double top being created here now. Anyone jumping in shorts? Gonna get squeezed out here in a second. Let's see if we can rip these highs here on gold. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put in this stop just to be safe. All right, let's see if we're gonna rip these highs. Currently around $600 here. It's the first trade of the week, and it may be the last due to travel. Go on, God, you're about to rip these highs. Look at this, we're coming for them highs. Anyone shorting here is gonna get squeezed out. And we'll lock that in right there. $750 here, guys. You guys can see live account. Job done in that one five minute candle, amazing. And now we're continuing to push up. So in that one five minute candle, we just squeezed out about 22 ticks, 2.5 lots, $700 five minutes, that is how you make money here in Amsterdam. Now let me guys, let me show you guys the history for this month so far. So you guys can see here, again, you know, live account, no Fugazi stuff here. We just locked in that trade there, $745, currently up almost $8,000 whilst being here 
it on the other side of the world and there's that trade, you know, hitting that TP area. So not the biggest risk to reward, but again, the volume was there. If that five minute had just even closed doji or a little bit bearish, I wouldn't have let it come anywhere near my stops. I would be out. $745, five minutes. Now let's go for a very well-deserved swim. And look, we've even got the guys in the community catching the exact same trades. Trendline liquidity, Lots of highs to come and grab. Boom, amazing. Ash up $330, better entry than me, amazing. No, exact same entry, look at that. Do we have the, yeah, exact same entry, look at that. Literally amazing, didn't share any signals. I don't, I don't share signals. And then look at that, incredible. One contract, $330, good work, Ash, amazing. And we've also got Brian again, catching the exact same trade, exactly the same trade as us. No signals. This is the power of teaching a good strategy that is very easy to follow. Simple elements following volume, amazing. And I was too busy indulging that into that trade. I forgot I had ordered some food because I have not really eaten today. So we've got this strawberry, uh, strawberry and yogurt protein smoothie. Look at that, we've got gold grab in the highs. And then we got this very nice breakfast wrap thing going on here with some salad beautiful look at this more people getting it look at that amazing got a little higher up entry fantastic and then another one here jade with a fantastic hold 60 ticks incredible everyone in the community absolutely crushing it if you make all this money in trading why do you need a community i am extremely extremely proud of having a community and the community that we have built because there is no one doing quite like what we are doing even close today we've all caught the exact same trade today i've also given a 150 pound voucher to one of the members to buy a screen for his home trading setup and no one is trading the way that we do so i have something of value and i share it to an absolutely incredible audience that you guys are more than welcome to join or you can just come and join for absolutely free here on youtube as well but people always ask me that question and for me i'm extremely proud of it i'm extremely proud of everyone that we have in there the whole community aspect you know just good people anyone who does come in and ruins the vibe they're kindly moved on so it's amazing to see everyone catching the exact same trades the full strategy the full plan the full course absolutely everything is included in there for as little as 99 dollars a month i cannot make it much more fair than that but and you know what the crazy part is like i said you don't even have to join you can come and watch me for free on youtube every single day 7 till 9 a.m. long time. I want to see you guys there. So we're going to finish this strawberry smoothie. And I do need to go. I, I really want to go for a swim. It, but it's it's insanely busy that I don't even know if I can sit down. And my foot is actually really swollen. So I can't even walk properly. But we have to go do something. Um, we've only got like just under two days here in Amsterdam. So I don't know. Let's go explore or go and do something. All right, let's go. This. I never expected Amsterdam to look like this. I've never been to this part before. Imagine that. Your house to your boat, straight out to the sea. Now that was absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely gonna come back first thing in the morning. It's literally like a two minute walk, two minute limp from my accommodation. I don't, couldn't really film too much because there's loads of people there, it's a bit weird, but had a very nice little swim, just chilled, relaxed, and just, man, just taking some time to reflect on life, you know, making $750 in five minutes and then being able to come and do that is just, it's just, it's just incredible. And I say that not to brag, but hopefully to inspire you guys, because this is the level you guys can get to. have been doing this for seven years now. I don't know, it doesn't get, it doesn't matter what level you get to. It's still surreal to me that I get to do this and this is my life. And hopefully, like I say, I inspire you guys to do the exact same thing. I say it not to brag, I say it to be transparent with you guys and show you what I've made in this past trip. And hopefully you guys can do the same. This is so possible, man, so possible. And now we're going back to the Airbnb. Oh man. The camera doesn't do it any justice. This is beautiful. I just want to eat, save a spot. It would only be right that we treat ourselves to a little dessert because it's my final day here and tomorrow we're going back to reality. Actually, no. By the time I fly back and land back and back in reality, tomorrow, any dessert, oh, wow, wow, wow. Any dessert off on the plane will be getting absolutely demolished. So we got some, <laughs> we got some ice cream here in this interesting tub. Look at this. So 
So got strawberry, two scoops of strawberry, and then one scoop of caramel. God, I did not need three scoops. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow, 7 a.m. for the London live stream. to another London live stream. <sighs> Going for a swim again. Try and film a bit more of it for you today, guys, because it's quieter. So let's try. All right, maybe not just yet. It's just started to rain and it's actually pretty chilly. chilly. Yes, I know I'm going to get wet anyway. Before you go, are you going to get wet anyway? Yeah, I am. But I also then have to walk back five, 10 minutes wet from going for a swim and then wet because of the rain. I was going to go in, I promise. So if it dies down, I will go back. And we did trade London for about an hour today. Um, but I actually realized we do have a US dollar CPI later on today. So, you know, does it make much sense to take a trade on gold before US dollar CPI? Not really. You know, you can get chopped up and then by the time CPI CPI comes in, the clearer trades there, the volumes there and the directions there. And, you know, do I want to waste my mental capital trying to force a trade in London to take a trade for the sake of it or wait for that news to come out, wait for the volume, wait for that news to come out, wait for the direction to be confirmed and then take a trade. My life is going to be much easier. And it's all about you guys saving your mental capital and understanding that that is very, very key. Yes, I could probably scalp a little trade right now, but the the, the chance of it hitting is kind of 50-50. It can go anywhere before that news. So put probability in your favor, put the markets in your favor, make your life as a trader as easy as possible and understand little things such as that. So right now I'm probably gonna order some breakfast. I do need to pack again because today we are leaving and we are flying back to Australia. It's gonna take me about 30 hours. I'm leaving on Wednesday night. I won't get back till uh, Friday morning, which is gonna be crazy. <sighs> wow, look at this. This is why I didn't go for a swim. Even though a swim would be beautiful if it was right here. Swimming when it's raining like this. I can't really see it, but it actually would be so nice. But it would just be the walk back. The only thing is, I'm leaving today. And my flight is until about eight o'clock and I have to check out of here soon. But well, what the hell am I supposed to do in that weather? With my luggage as well. I don't want to go sit in the airport because I'm I'm traveling for like 30 plus hours anyway. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But we'll have to go sit in a coffee shop. Not that kind of coffee shop. All right, not that kind of coffee shop. Relax. Um, and yeah, set up camp, maybe trade a little bit in New York session and see how we go. It's proper like, if you guys can hear it, like proper thundering now as well. But it's actually really nice to sit here and watch it. Look, laptop there, beautiful rain out there. All checked out. We've managed to leave the bags. Now let's go explore Amsterdam for the day and go have a good look around and get some coffee. Let's go. Coffee secured. It's turned out to be a nice day here in Amsterdam. Look at this. Don't know where we're going, but we're getting some steps in. We're gonna go see some canals, go get some breakfast. Gold's had a massive move, pre-CPI. Didn't get it, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Get off the charts, get some fresh air. We'll still see what the news brings later on. Now, this is what Amsterdam's all about. Look at this, beautiful. to get one more coffee for the road. The thing I love about traveling is just quite sad really, going into random little coffee shops, just trying the coffee, eating loads of food and trading. And that's pretty much it. So right now I just got back to my place where I've left my bag, still a little bit early, um, but I've done enough walking around. So gonna get the bags, go to the airport and head back to start the journey. 10 hours to Shanghai, eight hours in Shanghai, and then nine and a half hours to Brisbane. <sighs> Let's go. Nah, that's pretty cool. Look at this, it's a random plane here. Well, not random, we're at an airport, but you know, random that you can just walk up here and just go in this. This airport is absolutely massive. I'm trying to find the lounge, but I can't find it. 
going off again. It's probably the biggest lounge I have ever been in my life. This is insane. Two stories. Amazing. And I'll post a screenshot. We've managed to wrap up these past couple of weeks over $10,000, almost $8,000 in the personal. And then we have over a $3,000 payout, payout coming for the funded account. Traded live every single day. An absolutely amazing trip. And Europe, we will absolutely, absolutely be back. And before my flight. <laughs> We've landed in Shanghai. I'm trying to trade the London session because it's literally prime time trade London. And I feel pretty good. I slept most of the way here. But the Wi-Fi won't work. The Wi-Fi in the lounge will not work. Look, it just, nothing. Look, nothing. It's costing me money. I could be trading London right now. And I have about five hours here. But at least we got this. As soon as this goes off, we're going for a shower. Another lounge, another shower. Look at this one today. Beautiful, look, massive. That thing just went up when I went near it. That was pretty crazy. Look at this. Beautiful. This channel's gonna turn into me just traveling the world and, and trying different lounges. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Looks like we're getting cozy tonight and sharing. If this is taken, I hope it's not. I don't think it will be. But if it's not, look at this. But if it is, go elsewhere. <laughs>